Hey, hey guys, welcome back. We are trying something a little different today. We're playing an, uh, a demo or a beta version of a game called Unmetal, which is available on itch.io or itch.io, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, the game itself is created by someone named Fran... What is it? Fran... Fran I'm going to screw this up. Uh, Francis Francisco Tel Tele de Menines, or something like that. <laughs> I'll put the link uh, and everything in the description just so you can access it if you need to. And I'm really sorry, um, Francisco, for screwing your name up. But yeah, let's try it out. Once upon a time, <clears throat> a Soviet war helicopter entered Allied territory. The aircraft was intercepted and shot down. As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down, and later was brought to a military base for interrogation. That pilot was me. Oh, shit. Name? My name <clears throat> is Fox. Jesse Fox. You don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota, and I'm not Japanese. All right, Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant, bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit! <laughs> I promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground, trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. Oh yeah, so you can see it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, but it's in the style of the MSX uh, Let's Metal Gear game. The beginning. How did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I just had to write a note. A note? Where'd you get the paper from? Toilet I paper. Used the toilet paper. Oh, no way. <laughs> I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I was in a dirty, grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire, using my own blood as ink. Use a pen, Sideshow Bob. Oh, you can, like, punch things. I don't have a key, obviously. Punch the toilet a few times. Oop, there's our toilet paper. Nice. And there's our rusty wire. Press back. And uh, what do we do? That. And combine. Wait. Combine. I'm using a... There we go. I scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us cheap paper. One ply, unscented, <laughs> unpatterned. <clears throat> Why did you break the toilet? Why not grab the paper like a normal person? You know how prison is. It's kill or be killed. And I wasn't going to be killed by some dirty toilet. Take that, toilet. Hey, you moron! Holy Jesus. You schmuck. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? Ugh. Nice. <clears throat> Press A to search them. I'm using a PlayStation controller rather than... Um, an Xbox controller, so I'm having to like convert all these uh convert all the controllers in my head. Press any item in your Oh there we go. I left the guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <clears throat> Press back and RB three times. Ah, okay. So there's like...
toggles in the menu, if that makes sense. Uh, shoot is right trigger, or right, yeah, right trigger, right there, so that's the same button. Use radio left trigger, punch, interact, roll. Okay, I don't have a radio, I don't think. When leaving the cell, I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there. And the ground wow, this was is pretty plain cool. dirt. Oh, and it was night. Very cool. The Great Escape. <clears throat> Can I punch, punch through the, uh, the fence? Can't punch the fire extinguisher. There's people sleeping in all these cells. More toilet that paper? box contains <laughs> some filthy cloth scraps. I Useful. made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded. Bad news, dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding. Good news? I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. Cool. So you can skip through the dialogue if you want. Um, cool. So this is, I'm guessing, teaching me about all the uh, <laughs> the mechanics so I can... Um, some of those things I can move around, some of the barrels or crates, should I say. I thought everyone would be asleep at night, that it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of. Oh, what should I choose? Number two? Two guards on the night shift. Ah, uh, should have chose one, I guess. He will grant no experience when you neutralize him. Ah, uh, okay, so I get experience if they don't detect me. Cool. Nice. And I can search them. Got any goodies? There we go. Oh, like Sonic. What's that showing me? That he's got like a... Bless you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was injured and losing blood. I had to heal that wound. Okay, so. Bandage. There we go. Okay, so you can see there, like, if I'm too close when something happens, I automatically interact with it. So I don't want to, um. I need to pee. <laughs> I don't want to be too close when they're doing something, but this guy's peeing, so I should be able to punch him in the back of the head. Still more golden rings. Wait, there was a toilet right in here and he didn't just go around the corner to pee. Oh, use a toilet to save the game. Nice. jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Classic. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby. Because it stinks when it's hot. Once outside, move along at nighttime and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold on, Harris, are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. 
Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. He didn't die. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel <clears throat> Harris after his death. Continue your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. Okay, so yeah, you can see your messages in here as well. Under some crates, I found my salvation. There was no ladder and I couldn't see the bar. I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. Cool, so we know how to escape now. I've got another... Hmm, can't get through there, right? Nope. Cool. I'm guessing that syndrome is like the fox die. Red arrows may appear. The arrows indicate that there is an enemy on the next screen. Arrow points where they're facing. Okay. That's a cool, a really cool feature. No, you don't. I mean, I don't get any experience from that. The guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escape. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. Ah, Quickly nice. Quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins off the ground. So... Nice. No, oh, I can punch the crap out of him when he's down. Nice. I got my radio. radio. Without encryption, I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that noose. I'll tell you later. As I was saying, <laughs> I needed to find a special encryption circuit. Okay. Nothing in there. So I'm guessing these guys come back to life if I don't kill them. I had the circuit. I just had to... Okay, so we go in here. Combine. With the modified radio, I could speak to Harris with no one listening. Now, nice. I just had to bring it to him. And the new... Later. <laughs> If I break the rest of them, do I just get more circuits? Everyone's gonna notice that everything is broken though, right? Here you go, Harris. You are, Colonel. A radio. I've modified it to encrypt the signal. Oh, good job, son. Do you have another one for you? Not yet. I'll call you through channel one as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. Creepy. Do you think it's in that green crate just there and I'm going to find a way around it? Okay, so there's a guy like right here. Press B twice over a guard to carry him. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, he can hit me around corners, I guess. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, so we're back to getting this radio. Wait, these guys... They're still down? Oh, okay, it's just auto-saved, so it's, um... I don't have that much to uh, to go back on. Nice. Uh, how do I pick this guy up? I'm pressing B twice. I'm just gonna run.
Yeah, I would have thought that like, um, it said press B twice, right? Like I'm not going crazy. Yeah. Punch you in the back of the head. You oh, cool. stole a one-eyed man's patch? A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation? <laughs> because it was his job. What you did was macabre and suggest you might have a fetish. Holy Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. A slingshot? Is that what it's... Oh, an eyeball. Stole his glass eye as you well. You removed his glass eye too? <laughs> uh, suspicion. Yes, I took it out because it was suspicious. What was suspicious? Why did a one-eyed man have a glass eye under an eye patch? He'd be using a patch or an eye, but not both. True. Maybe the eye was some sort of secret device. I kept it just in case. Smart man. So, we want to combine this so we can speak to the Colonel, right? Uh... With the radio encrypted, I could talk. I wouldn't have been able to escape without his help. I hate to admit it, but the grumpy old man gave some good advice. Left trigger, Colonel, line one. Do you copy? Copy. Sewer found. I'm looking for a rope or something to go down. There must be some around. Thoroughly. What a useless recommendation. Whoa. Depleted uranium. Side effect makes you nervous. Can we combine it and make like a slingshot? No. Put it in the handkerchief. Stab it. No. Okay, let's go save it in the bathroom. Oh, there's someone in here. Uh hey buddy. I have no paper. Can you bring me some? Sure. Here you are. Thanks, man. You saved my ass, literally. <laughs> what the fuck? What sort of paper is this? Prisoner it's paper. It's only one ply, unscented and unpatterned. It's the kind the prisoners use. Fuck, that's why their hands stink so much. By the way, who are you? I don't recognize your voice. I'm Lieutenant Marcus Stevenson. Lieutenant, you say? Sir, I apologize for my manners. I did not know your rank, sir. Relax, and clean up your rear guard well. Sir, yes sir. Butt jokes are always welcome. I really like the um, off-camera indicator. Ah, so the poop guy came and picked up his compadre. I mean, off-screen, you could see the two things coming together. Uh, so what was... Nope. I'm trying to pick them up, but I'm just beating the crap out of him. Let's see what the control was again. Yeah, press B twice to carry someone. Am I pressing the wrong button? Maybe it's... Oh, there we go. Isn't that A? Anyway. No more beating the crap out of people. Uh... More uranium. I ran into a guard as I went in. Oh, uh, asleep. Luckily, the guy was sleeping. That bastard was going to have a rude awakening. Oh, a stick? Oh, it's so I can make my, uh, Wrong button. Oh, wrong button again. 
I patched the slingshot. The weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot? Sort of childish, don't you think? What were you going to shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. Three shots and goodbye guard. Three shots. Dude, wake up. Okay, so he's looking down, he's looking across. Probably want to equip coins as well, right? That didn't, that didn't go as well as I would have hoped. Sorry, dude. Oh. It's probably a G-Shock. More uranium. Whoops. Nope. Do you? With those first aid kits, I could disinf- Good news. Those kits stopped any bleeding and also healed my wound. Bad news. Once you use- Okay, so I can- Oh. How do I use the first aid kit? There we go. Ah, oh, no way, he's listening to music? Hmm. Oh, wow. I can, like, kick his ass around the corner. Mike! Aw, oh, poor Mike. Nice, what do I get? Still punch twice when the enemy box is more than 1p. 1 HP, sorry. I'm gonna get Sprint. That's a cool feature, like having the uh, running feature. I mean, um, the level up feature, not the running feature. Nothing there. Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. The soldier says to his captain, sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. This like around the corner thing is really useful. Have a baby, sir. Congratulations, request granted. Next week, the captain asks him, Private, was it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, I don't know, sir. I'll find out in nine months. Boom. Okay, can, oh, they can see me. I would say that was the only, like, part that doesn't work totally well, is the seeing around corners. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about if I throw... No, he definitely saw me. Oh. So good, he's a bit of a dumbass. Got me some rope, more ammo, another health kit. Okay, so that would be back. Let's do a bit more exploring first. I reached a special place where I found something. What, Mr. Fox? It was... What was it? Damn, I can't remember. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, now Was I it a mine? It was that damn grenade guy. Oh, excellent. A boss. 
I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A ah, simple nice. ditch stopped you? This was no mere simple ditch. It was full of tentacles. <laughs> Blood-stained spears that moved up and down. And bony arms that tried to grab me. And deadly lays. Okay, okay, Mr. Fox. I get it. You couldn't reach him. For your own good, I'll not include the spears, arms, and tentacles in my report. Now, Mr. Fox, please continue your story. All right. The fight began when he tossed the first grenade at me. Nice, like little boss battles. Okay, so what's my... Oh, shit. <laughs> so we gotta get some plutonium. And we... Aim. There we go. Ah, uh, too close. So where does he stop? Is it random? Ooh. Crap. Uh, let's give myself... Nope. I don't want to run away. I just want to heal. Uh... Grenade guys. Crazy. Ooh, just missed grenade guy. Ooh. Are getting rough out of you. There we go. Got Boss him. Boss defeated. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? <laughs> you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent. The grenade guy. I see. Very good joke. Ooh, a hook. So I guess I wouldn't have been able to continue without the hook, right? Yeah, I I'm guessing like the hook is what you use to scale down the sewer pipe hey bro help me get me out of this hole if you're in a cell it's because you committed a crime and i don't free criminals but you're a prisoner too <laughs> i've been imprisoned for a crime i didn't commit him too Fuck you. right hey friend I'm also innocent. <laughs> That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key in that box. The one I... Oh. Very good. Uh, key. Hold on. I'm opening it. Thanks, dude. Will I have to, like, fight this guy when I let him out? Oh. What a pity. <laughs> you bastard! Hasta la vista. So does that mean I can't get that last, uh, nope. Yep. Shouldn't have broken the key. Or at least should have unlocked the other door first. Right, so... Combine these two? Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. 
dogs. I found a rope to go down the sewer. And you're not down yet? What the hell are you waiting for? I'm on it, Colonel. <laughs> Let's go. How do we get in? Gotta use this first, right? I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I... Very cool. So there we go. That's the uh, the demo finished. Um, this will be released later in the year. Let me just check the the release date here. We're looking. Let's see. Play through. Just checking Steam. Yeah, the second of October, twenty twenty, is the planned release date. Um, so yeah, if you if you liked what what you saw. Go ahead and uh, jump on the link in the description and add it to your wish list. Um, this demo is available if you want to try it out as well. So it's I'll, I'll put the link down below as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for dropping by and thanks for thanks for watching the unmetal ness of it all. Um, it was really good, and I hope that the full game sort of yeah keeps on the same track. But yeah, thanks for dropping by.